So in problem number 43, we need to determine convergence or divergence. Um, I am going to, because of the presence of the, um, of the factorials, um, I am going to apply the, the ratio test. So let's apply the ratio test. Now, uh, let's write the limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus 1 term divided by the nth term, which, by the way, we sometimes write as the limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus 1 term multiplied by the reciprocal of the nth term. So sometimes it's easier to do that. So limit as n approaches infinity of the n plus 1 term, which is n plus 1 factorial, all over 2 times n plus 1 plus 1 factorial. And then the, the reciprocal of the nth term is going to be 2 n plus 1 factorial all over n factorial. And let's see what we get when we do that. Um, Probably on the easier side, is the fact that between n plus 1 factorial and n, we're going to end up with an n plus 1 on top. Now between these two, perhaps we should do a little bit of cleaning up. We have 2n plus 1 factorial, but underneath there, we have 2n plus 2 plus 1 factorial. Again, I, I got that by distributing this 2 through both of those terms. So, the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of n plus 1 over 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 factorial over 2n plus 3 factorial. Now, that means there's two extra terms here on the bottom, and I might call this the limit then as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 on top and 2n plus 3 times 2n plus 2 on the bottom. Here the dominant term is n. Here the dominant term is going to be n squared, and as we go to infinity, that's going to zero. Zero is less than one. Therefore, this series from n equal one to infinity of n factorial over 2n plus one factorial converges by the nth no, not the nth term test, by the ratio test. What was I thinking? By the ratio test. There we have it.